So we are modeling this slit building in Revit. Good news is it's easy to model. Bad news, I do not know how it looks like from outside. It will be a section based uh, model. Let's head to Revit and start by creating a reference plane. Make it close to the north elevation, name it A. Then go to the north elevation itself and insert tab to insert your image. Use import file. Here we have our image and align it with the section lines. Use RE shortcut to um, rescale the level to become the same size as your view uh, level dimensions. Then hover over a level, select it, CO to copy multiple, then paste it over each level. We will go to massing and site, show mass, in place mass, let's name it slit building. Okay. Now we will use our reference plane do model pick a plane reference plane a okay whatever section you have if it's 2d it if it's a flat section you will not suffer much but if it's a 3d one uh, that can be sketchy sometimes okay uh, make sure that your profile is completely connected. Go to 3D view. Then uh, select that profile, create form, drag it to the inside using the Y axis or whatever that green arrow is. Back to the north elevation. Um, we can use here the wireframe visual style and we can start cutting that slit or void in the building using the start and radius arc select the first and the last point then just continue drawing this or sketching this voids after you finish uh, drawing these in inner lines we can use the picked lines to uh, offset this uh, glass facade to become uh, lines to so TR to trim and extend them or just connect them with a line doesn't matter at, at this point we need to have them okay so use TR to trim and extend the void lines that we are creating Make sure to select them using control so they are all selected. If yes, use the host pick reference plane A and make sure you don't have such uh, blue dots. So this is a problem we have here. TR to trim and extend. Now when we select it, it's all one profile. Go to 3D, use create form drop down void form and now we have the form cut after cutting this uh, mass we can just click finish mass and select it mass floors from level one until level eight use control plus shift to select them all make sure to check the box before clicking ok now you have uh, let's use visual style uh, shaded you have mass floors but you, we need actual floors so go to architecture floor floor by face select all of them create floor and then escape select everything filter out everything except mass floors ok delete now we need to have that glass facade still. What we can do is we can create another mass, go to massing inside, in place mass, 
Let's name it class. Use the set reference plane and set the reference plane to this side profile. Select or pick lines. Pick the lines of the edges. TR to trim and extend. Make sure all of these are on the same profile. If yes, the only thing left is to connect them if they are not. So these are now connected. We can take this back and this one too. After finishing, you can use create form, solid form, and extend this to the um, yeah to the end. Now we can finish mass. Go to architecture. Curtain system. Select these profiles. And create system. You can modify this system later. We will not go into more details. You will find uh, a notification on the upper right side with more details about curtain systems. But let's cut this mass inside open to create the other from architecture curtain system. Create other curtain systems in this mass. Use walls by face and it's ready to be made in just a few clicks. Don't forget there are roofs by face, walls by face and floors by face. You can use all of that in a mask. Thank you for watching.